Coach, you guys made your run in the second half with Hunter on the bench. Can you just talk about how those guys did, Brandon and Austin, in, in their role in that? All hands on deck, man. Uh, and I was prepared for if there was foul trouble with any of our bigs on what is the, the second option, the third option. Kind of like reminds me of when the, you talk to Navy SEALs when they go out there for a mission. They prepare for the first option. They also prepare for the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, you never know how it's going to go. You got to be ready to pivot. And those two guys, um, Austin, Brandon, did a fantastic job of just battling, um, just trying to make every catch hard, just try to challenge every shot, uh, do, every, do whatever they can to uh, expend some energy and make guards that work for every bucket. Daniel Dash. Hey, Juwan, Isaiah made it sound like there was a fairly ugly defensive film session uh, when you guys were reviewing the Ohio State game. Uh, what did you make of the defensive improvement tonight? <laughs> yeah, I, I normally show those defensive numbers like the, the next day after the game we played, but I held it and held it in my back pocket to the time that I felt that was right um, to inspire a better defensive effort than what we gave against Ohio State. You know, not taking anything away from Ohio State. They're a really good team. And I just felt defensively, I think we got more into scoring than we did into uh, getting stops. Um, and I showed film. And they all owned it. And it was great to see that, you know, they had their mind made up. And they, I'm speaking of the players, had their mind made up that um, we have to give a better defensive performance tonight versus Iowa, who's a excellent offensive team. If we don't, then uh, we're going to have some sad faces after the game. Dylan Jesperson. Hey, congrats on a great win, Coach. Uh, just take us what's going through your mind when you have uh, Hunter, who plays a great game, uh, battles hard with uh, Luca all night, and then he's uh, you know double-digit lead, and he's still getting on the floor for an offensive rebound after he misses a layup. What's going through your mind in a, in a play like that? Uh, when he played, come up with the basketball. <laughs> That's the only thing that's going on to my mind. Grab that basketball, get it. And it just says a lot about Hunter, uh, about those plays, our winning plays that we have to come up with instead of just watching the ball bounce around. You know, we talk about it being the first to hit the floor, win every loose ball, every 50-50 ball. And there was one play that we didn't do that towards the uh, end of the game, and I'm not going to name the player, because, but he knows who he is. Um, and th that was just an unacceptable effort. We got to bring it every time, all the time. David Woodruff. Hey, Coach. There were a lot of whistles in the first half, and um, Hunter and uh, Austin Davis both got into some early foul trouble. Did you talk to them at all about any adjustments that they had to make to kind of uh, get back on course and uh, stay in the game? They know the checklist. We talked about it before the game. Uh, we talked about it in practice. We watched film on it. Um, you know, it just – it's not easy guarding Garza. Uh, he's a talent. Uh, this guy has a chance to be the player of the year this year. Um, also had a strong chance of winning it last season. Um, you know, when you're out there and you're watching it on TV or you're watching it on the floor, um, you can give all the great ideas and suggestions, but when you're out there playing against a high level of talent like that, it's not easy. And I just, I'm so proud of the effort that our guys gave. How you got, Ken? Hey, Juwan. Sticking with Garza, he scored a season low, 16 points tonight. Were you shocked that your guys were able to neutralize him the way that they did? Well, Garza is going to remember this game, man. And uh, I just suspect that we do see them again. Um, I'm not going to, hopefully, but I don't expect Garza to play the way how he did tonight. He's going to make adjustments. I just know he will. Connor Brennan. Yeah, Juwan, can you just talk a little bit about um, how Franz kind of sparked uh, your offense in the second half and what he's given you so far this year? Well, um, <clears throat> Franz did it more than just in the second half. You know, Franz did a great job of uh, making some really good decisions with the basketball in the first half. If you recall, you know, that was one drive where we were looking to throw the ball into the post and he drove it baseline and finished. Um, 